let's make this really cute candy corn bracelet today. So to make this bracelet, we're going to need two, we're going to use one millimeter nylon string throughout the whole project, starting with two pieces that are white and 18 inches or 45 centimeter. We'll need one piece that's orange and is 60 inches or 152 centimeters. And one piece that is about 12 inches or 30 centimeters. For the beads, we're going to use three glass candy corn beads at two six millimeter white beads and two six millimeter yellow beads. And of course, we will use super hold scotch tape, a lighter, and nice sharp scissors. Okay, so now let's get started. The very first thing that we're going to do is take the two pieces of white nylon string and we're going to tape them down. Um, right at about four or five inches so about that much maybe that'll be what is left over as far as the um, tail is concerned or the uh, the ties so we'll take a piece of tape tape it down right about here okay and then onto this white string we're going to thread all the beads and beads are going to go in the following order and of course I always uh, melt and create a little point out of these ends with the lighter when you're using the white nylon string you can't hold the flame for too long or it will turn ugly so it's a really quick I did that a little too long, but we're going to basically put the beads on in this order. So we'll keep that there for reference. We'll start with a yellow bead and then a candy corn. And it doesn't matter how you thread the candy corn bead. But once you put it in in one particular direction, you're going to want to continue to do it that way so that it's all facing the same way. Okay, yellow, candy corn, then white. Candy corn, yellow, candy corn, oops, and the last bead in this case is going to be white, so it looks like that. Okay. Okay, so I tape the string down to the table so it stays nice and still as we're working. And then I'll take the really long piece that is 60 inches and thread it under the two strings that are on the table. And I know that. Maybe that can't be seen, so. So 
I make this even. And then to get started, the whole bracelet is just square knots. Square knots around each bead with only one square knot in between each one and then final square knots on that side too. So to make square knots is very simple. Um, I'll start with the I'll start with this string on the left. You just lay it across our center string. Take the other side and it's gonna go over that right and then it's gonna go under everything and come out through this side and then just pull so that's half of a square knot and let's do another one and we'll do I am going to make this bracelet about six to six and a half inches and so those the measurements that I give you right now are for a six to six and a half inch bracelet if you need to make it longer or shorter you'll just have to make some adjustments there okay so we're gonna do about I'll say about 13 full square knots here um, so I already did one and now I'm just gonna do about 12 more so doing one side and then the other side creates a full square knot so that's the second one three Four, five, I'll speed this up a little bit. So there should be about 13 full square knots here for my measurements. And then the first bead is going to go up and we'll just square knot around it. So we do one side, then the other side. And then we'll just push the next one because we're just going to do one square knot between each bead. When you have oddly shaped beads like this candy corn, sometimes it looks okay if you just wrap around. Don't pull too tight or it will scrunch up and make the bracelet not be round anymore. So you just wanna pull it behind the bead, pull it right up to there, don't pull too hard, and then complete that square knot so it stays in place real good okay then we'll push up the next bead and square knot around it
I'll pull this up a little bit. Next bead. Next bead is a candy corn. These candy corn beads are so realistic. And I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I like candy corn and they look real enough to eat. Okay, the last bead. Okay, now I'll pull it up again because the final part is to just repeat basically this side on the other side. So we'll take this down. And again, we're just going to do um, about 13 full square knots, I believe. Uh, so in addition to this one, should be about 12 more. so this much of the bracelet this portion of the bracelet measures about six inches we still need to create this part of the bracelet to hold these strings together and that piece might measure about half an inch okay but first also judging by how much string i have left over here um i think four and a half in uh well four and a half feet of string or about 12 inches less than what i cut would have been enough of this orange string Okay, so you cut the little pieces off, melt the ends here to finish. Okay, and then we'll tape this down just like this. And then we'll just create that that piece that binds this together 
with the 12 inch piece, which is 30 centimeters. That's about big enough. Cut these ends off. Carefully melt. Pull these ends to close. I always even out these strings. to make it easier to finish off these ends with a knot. Okay. So I'll tie it around two times, go through once, go through twice. It makes a nice bigger finishing knot. Again, I'll do the same thing on the other side. Go through once, twice, once. Okay. And now, snip. Gently melt. Okay, so the ends are done, the bracelet's done. Adjustable. 